What's up guys? So we got a little match going. Me and Greg on the ridges, back nine. I haven't played here before, so slight advantage. Greg, he's gonna show me around though. We're gonna go match play. First hole, 330. Yep. You can reach the green because it's dog leg. Left. I'm playing the smart, smart move right Greg's here. got the four iron. I got the driver, obviously. Ah, goes with the safe play and misses the fairway. Greg, can you uh, point out the green for me? Right over that. Okay. Not bad. All right, so I don't know where I'm at. We're gonna see. Greg said it's good. In the hole. Could be in the hole. All right, I like that. Yeah. Um, Greg, can you give us a little bit about yourself? Oh, what, we, what about me? I'm from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Wauwatosa, if you know the area. Uh, Wisconsinized baby. What else? I'm a caddy, Sand Valley as well. And I love golf. Uh, what are you trying to do with golf? See where it takes me. I mean, are you trying to play on a professional level or do you just love the game? What's that looking like? I would love to play on the professional level, but it takes a lot of time and effort. So that's, that's the process I'm on right now, trying to get my game better. I dig it. All right, Greg, not in very ideal position, has no look at the green. Um, he's just gonna punch it out, try to get the up and down. Great play, took it on the cart path. A little, little pulley. Misses the green. Might have to chip in. Greg, good karma. Gotta fix the divots. Golf karma. Fix your divots. Fix other people's divots. Greg just shipped it to about two feet. Um, that'll be for a bogey. Meanwhile, I am somewhere in this really wet stuff. It's probably plugged. We're taking a drop. I'm gonna take a stroke, knee high. Wow, what a drop. Third shot. Not bad. Let's see if you can make a putt. I just stripped. Look Watch how wet step. this is, dude. Just like lost it all. Yeah, I think six feet deep. Here's it. Huge. Uh. Gotta love it. One up, Good tea time. time. Honestly, wish I found the golf ball. It's just somewhere six inches down in that wet grass. We got a little debate on if I should have taken the drop where I did, and I think the reality is I think there you was a been, lot of wet grass. Should have been hitting for it. Um, Greg is an asshole, and thinks I should have been hitting for it. But <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, I think you should almost be a free drop, because on tour, up. they would find that golf ball. All right, 106 yard, par three. Only one time. I can't get my 58 there. I'm mean, gonna soft 50, because uh, I only have 10 clubs. Soft lay. Oh, very nice. Hey, Greg, what are we hitting here? Right next to me, it's looking like. Golf karma, baby. Um, if you guys can't hear in the background, we are playing one of the best radio stations uh, we found on Spotify yet. Dave Matthews Band. Yeah, buddy. Greg, you got any other uh, good playlists? Uh, what do I recommend? I'm, uh, see, I don't have Spotify. Well, I mean, uh -uh. just any, like, 
any album or artist you like and then you play the radio station to well, it. I'd probably put on Revolution. Gotta go Revolution. Can't, you know, hard to beat that. Maybe Hot Country? No country doesn't hurt. Oh. Man, I think that's about it. I mean, nah, a little hip hop, man. You know? Yeah, if you really just need to uh, make something happen, a little, a little wake up. It actually looks like Greg is out. Another key component to the golf karma is fixing your ball marks. I'm pretty huge about karma. And honestly, if you take care of the golf course, golf course takes care of you. We are team pinning Bryson DeChambeau all the way. Oh, he had the line. Don't leave it short, Tyler. No, you can't. Oh. Snag that out of there real quick for a par. Greg makes these all day, but we're still gonna just watch it. Oh, oh, lips it in there. Woo! All right, Greg, favorite club in the bag? Um, boomstick. Boomstick. The driver. This, this hole is called uh, 12 Boomstick. 12 Boomstick. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, so obviously we're hitting driver. 282, downhill. Boomstick. All right, for some reason, I think I just took a time lapse of what Greg just did, unfortunately. I'll slow-mo it and maybe it'll look normal. But you put it about 10 yards short of the green, huge hit. Uh, looking to make a birdie here, and it looks like I'm gonna have to take a drop and just a good drop, Maybe though. try to chip in. That's pretty much all I got. Well, unfortunately for Tyler, he hit in the water off the tee. Give yourself a good drop there. Another good drop. Here we go. Maybe three yards. Chipping it in. Okay, what a kick. All right, I put it close. Uh, Greg, huge advantage still. He's got the birdie putt. Well, he's got, no, an eagle chip, I guess. Yeah. Greg needs to get up and down to get about to even. It's looking good. Oh. All right, he's got about five feet. Looking good. Tyler's just out. Good to put a little pressure on you. I pulled it. I pulled it. Bang. Even through three. What's in the bag? We got a little uh, M2 action. Scotty, because it's always Scotty season. And he's playing the very new, very fresh Mizuno JPX 919 Tours. Fresh. Five up the hill, a little to the left. How long? 470 from here. 470 par five. That is, uh, that's easy. Want to take it down the right center? Love it. Run hard. Middle of the fairway. All right, Tyler. Can you now drive that one? Oh, boomstick. Redemption after the last Woo! hole. Oh, Can yeah. I outdrive him, he says. This guy. So a little background about this golf course. 
They say that the back nine was built from God, which is pretty sweet. I mean, they just didn't move any grass or uh, any dirt, anything. They just laid down a fairway, laid down green, laid down tee boxes. Um, it's a little mom and pop golf course. Costs 20 bucks in the morning and 10 bucks in the afternoon. Unreal. Narrow par five. Straight that way. Greg is out about 2.30 into the green. Oh, that is so pure. <laughs> He's on the green, going for eagle. Pure is it? Walking after my golf ball, need to make something happen. I mean, he probably has about 15 feet for eagle. Um, I'm gonna let Greg get me a distance real quick and make something happen. I'm playing it, got a new four iron. King F9, the length of an eight iron. Check it out. Okay. Not good. Very unfortunate. Can't find my golf ball. These leaves are super thick. No excuse. I shouldn't even be over here. Yeah, it's not looking good for me. Greg with the eagle putt. Might just have to give him the hole. Conceded. We spent three minutes over here. Greg, you're one up. Thanks, <laughs> 470 par five. That is, uh, that's easy. Greg is one up through four. It happens. Uh, Lost the golf ball. Can't get too mad about it. He did have an eagle putt. I shouldn't have sliced my four iron. Literally sliced it from the middle of the fairway. A little thin, a little thin slice. Greg, you feeling pretty pretty good right now, eh? Yeah, my tee box now. It is your tee box. Get to watch it at the lines. What are we looking at coming up? Oh, we got a tight dog leg right. Greg's tee box. Oh, look at him, just confident. Looking down the line. It's way right. I don't know. I saw it. It's in the fairway. No way. Super lucky. I uh, hit a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Went left. On the hunt for another golf ball for Greg's ball this time. This I swear this doesn't happen often, but uh, we are going for greens today, which might be a little risky. Really, you're supposed to just hit an iron, have 100 yards in, be good to go. But uh, no, we're trying to hit the green. Shout out to my boy John Ogros. He absolutely loves these things. Jono, sorry I'm not in Chicago, can't bring this to you. We're gonna leave it there for someone else. Well, it was pure. I got 100 yards in because I hit a tree, so that really worked out. Oh, looking pretty. Greg got the number. Um, <laughs> this green over here, what is that, Greg? Oh, I like that. Two greens. He's just right in the middle. I guess you wish this was one whole green. Like it used to be, eh? I don't mind. What are we chipping with, Greg? You got a pretty tight lie. Do you just go 58? He has 55. It's a good play. What's your mindset going into this shot? Yeah, are you worried about where it's going to land? Uh, yeah, landing area, two yards on. Love it. Land just a yard short. 
Nothing to it. Up there, close. I don't think that's good yet. He's not gonna give it to me. <sighs> you know, Greg, I'm gonna one hand this. Dang. We are back to even through five. We are on the uh, 15th hole, 418 yard par four. Yeah. That's a real, that's a real par four. Dog leg left. Huge bunker out there on the left. Can you carry it, Greg? It is a possible carry. Two thirty carry. Okay, got that. entire body. I should just leave the camera out here and get out of the way. Which opening will he choose? Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Catch a tiger by its tail. Oh, he's looking up there though. He's looking up. He sees something. Something non-existent. Oh, there it is. <laughs> if that wasn't the definition of jail over there, then this is. <laughs> oh, definitely. I still got a shot. In the distance, right there is his gap. He does have it. This is like, honestly, the perfect distance to have that gap, too. Oh, just perfectly through it. Is it the number now? Um. Did you nice. stick it? Let's go! Woo! So Greg, Woo. how did you come upon Sand Valley? Because I learned about it through you, and uh, thank you for that. You're welcome. What was your, what was your in? Uh, my in was, well I was caddying at Aaron Hills before that. Heard about uh, it opening in like 2016. And just thought I, I needed a change, so. 2017 Sand Valley Open, and I was there May 1st, and loving it ever since. Yeah, three and years honestly, in. it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Yeah. They have three courses out there, one par three, two normal courses. Gonna be building a third course, like an actual golf course, and it's gonna be sick. I mean, the Mammoth Dunes was just rated 24th. Yeah. Sand Valley was rated 18, top 100 public courses. And uh, David McKay Kidd, was the architect to Mammoth Dunes, and what a job he did. I mean, there's some podcasts that he talks about how he designed it, and it's incredible. I mean, he really created the perfect course for resort golf. We always enjoy it, and I, I think all the players do. Greg just absolutely stuffed it. What a shot, man. In the jail, and you just, you put it to six feet. All right, my second shot ended up over here. I do have a T. Why do you need the T, Greg? I need to fix the ball mark. Good karma. That is a good karma. I did the exact opposite of you last chip and hit it long.
dead center. Remarkable up and down from uh, jail pretty much. Aggressive, had to give it a chance. Greg one up, 16th hole, which is the seventh hole for us now. I really gotta make something happen. This hole is sick, look how tight it is. Just rips it right down the center. Think I'm gonna Zach Johnson it? I hope not. Mmm, calls a shot. Good job. We're catting in Sand Valley and it is a, an absolute grind. It's amazing, we're out here to make the money and the access to the course is unbelievable. We just play every afternoon, um, play the par three any morning and we yeah. caddy pretty much every day. So today we have a 3 p.m. loop, tomorrow we have two loops, the following day we have two loops, all the same group, they're gonna play what is that, a total of 90, 90 golf holes? 90. 90 golf holes. 90 it's gonna golf. be pretty fun. I'm excited. Look at that. It's so sloped down the hill. Oh, Ooh, unreal. Someone out drove you. Ooh, someone's closer. <laughs> Gotta go. I have a lot of faith in Greg, so I'm actually i will be on the green. He's got 100 yards. If all goes right, he's gonna be right next to the hole. Unfortunately, it's chunky. Pro side. Hey Greg, fun fact. Did you know that the most ideal putt or percentage wise that a right handed person makes is a uphill right to lefter? Yeah. Right. Makes sense. People's eyes just set up to it well. We both just made bogey from inside 120. Doesn't happen often. But uh, there's some pressure, you know. We're recording. I'm nervous. Uh, yeah, first time out here. No, all oh, excuses. We're just, <laughs> we're slacking today. We worked out at like 6 a.m., so there's that, but we should be doing that every morning, so really we have no excuses, and there's no win. None. Par three, 168 yards. Up the hill right there. Um, I only have 10 clubs, so I play, uh, I don't play the nine iron, seven iron, five or three iron. Just because we walk a lot and I don't really like carrying a lot of weight. So, given that I don't have a seven iron in the bag, we're gonna hit a soft six. Greg, on the other hand, is gonna rope an eight iron because uh, he hits the ball, hits his irons further than me. Um, started a little out right too much. Could catch a piece, it doesn't. Funnels right down the hill. Ooh, right, ugh, tree might be in the way. Bryson DeChambeau clubs. Let's just talk about it one more time. I got the Forge 1, length of uh, 7 iron. And. Don't people... forget about the grip. Oh, the grip. <laughs> Jumbo. Bryson does it. Yeah, he does. Takes the wrist out of play. Follow me. Doesn't have a swing. Yeah, you do. Just a little behind the back. There's the pin. Ooh, a little behind the back action? No, no, a little risky. He knows he needs this up and down. That could work. He's got a little bit of a swing.
Wow. All right, a little long, but he's putting. Tea time. So severe short-sided up and down. Oh. Oh, what just happened there, folks? <laughs> he just Zach Johnsoned it. Oh my. <laughs> it happened. Uh, well done. The reason we love golf, there's so many reasons, but this weather is one of them. It's about 70 degrees, no wind, and everything around us is green. Ooh. That looks good. Greg, that is good. I don't know if I can help you. The river is that way though. Yeah, but it's so slow. I think it's left to right. Could be straight. Straight. Greg is one up through eight. On to the last hole. What are we working with here? We got a par five. 470. Up the hill. Pretty straightforward other than trees on left and right. <laughs> Just um, you trees gotta left pipe it. Pipe it. Bomb stick. Um, boom stick. Boom bomb. Boom bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I love how tight it looks. I don't think that could be much better. Power. So on clutch. I, uh, I just hit the tree left. Hit the tree left. Um, I got it though. Good part about this game is you just can't get too upset. You know, we're not playing for anything except who does the next person's laundry. Yeah. We are roommates after all. Right. So uh, probably gonna have to do his laundry unless I can make something big happen. All right, Kiowa Island Club, place I used to caddy. Shout out to Austin Benz for uh, this awesome three wood. M4 with Tour AD shaft. I actually won it off of Austin, so that. Where are you going? Should have told you the hole's left. A little uh, miscue on my part. I tried to hit a cut, and uh, I did hit a cut, but the hole's left. So it happens. 180 out. Okay. Um, just uh, try to get it close. You know what I'm saying? Or not. All right, green's up there, he's right there. That'll work. If you're wondering what happened to my finger, honestly, I don't even understand it. I just like cut it on a shopping cart. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's the opening with the cut, or right at it. Uh, no. There is, there's water. Touch up through the water. Run. No way. What a shot. This is big. Um, I just, I could chip in, I guess. But you have an easy up and down. I don't know, I don't know. Not in too bad a position. It is a par five after all. Um, he really just needs to put it close. Oh, it's well short. Go in. Go! Wow. Good par. Ah, oh, needed that. Left it short. Can't leave him short. Severely uphill putt, Greg. We talk a lot of shit to each other, but uh, friends, you can do that. Honestly, this game is no fun if you can't shit talk. And if you got friends that take it too seriously, they're just 
Why play with him? This game is meant to have fun. But I definitely want him to three jack. Oh, little tester. Just kidding, that's good. Well played. Well played. Greg, you were two up in matches against me. Is, yeah. is this just gonna be a takeaway? Like, you're just I gonna be so. like really winning every time? Yeah, you won't have to do any laundry. Good point. <laughs> I'm really hoping to get something back. All right, Greg took the dub, uh, nine hole match play at the ridges. Sweet golf course, that back nine really, it does feel like it was made from God. Um, if you like it, if you like the video, you know, maybe leave a comment or just like the video, I guess. Subscribe to the channel if you want, just do your thing, you know? We'll just keep posting every week and get it going.